yeah, I don't know. I think I think they're just studying getting set up. They're giving him a two hour time limit. I will be thoroughly shocked if this entire match, even if it takes three games and there's a ten minute bathroom break in between games one and two and two and three, there's no way this match lasts longer than an hour. Like it's just impossible. Um there's nothing in either deck that causes delay or locks down a game or anything like that at all. Yeah, both decks are fast. They're extremely fast. We have a 13 efficiency and an 11 efficiency. Bunch of key cheats. Fortunately, not going to take two hours. And one other interesting side note. This is the current Vault Tour leaderboard. Dunk is down here at 1045. With a win, he does not actually get first place in the world because they had 500. But he would be within... He would be a strong second within 55 points of George, uh, creating a real interesting remainder of the Vault Tour season rivalry between the two. The two would be double champions, but none of that is guaranteed. That's what's on the line for Dunk. Um, so there's a lot of pressure for both competitors going into the matchup, but there's a lot of... Yeah, and on the a, line for Julian being lot, the player who establishes yeah. the strength of AOA. Right, and that's... And that's Huge accomplishment for both sides. Yeah, Julian would forever be known as the guy that beat Fraud in a final, the first AOA Vault Tour champion, maybe, maybe, the only AOA Vault Tour champion for some time, depending upon how Worlds Collide comes out. Like, it's entirely possible yeah. this, could, this could be the last really good chance for AOA, or they could be in the final next Vault. Who knows? But, but you can't really ever take Vault Tour finals for granted. Um no matter where you are or what situation you're in. So high stakes for both. So the Vegas Vault will be interesting. Um, if there's like a triad that has one AOA deck in it, I guess we kind of say that's a partial AOA win if the deck gets played in a final. That's correct. <laughs> they might be really confused. That's that's true. Yeah, we'll Julian see. is not the champion yet. Neither is Dunkuro. Nope. Match still to be played. Dunkuro was a champion already, but he is not the champion. And if Julian wins this match, I think he will be considered the champion. Let me tell you. That would be a major win. Yeah, for sure. So were we able to get the hand cams readjusted? I passed a message along. He said he was going to fix it. So I think they probably have already awesome. done that. Especially in this matchup. This matchup, we want to know what both players have in hand. It's mm -hmm. going to be huge. Both players getting last-minute instructions. So another kind of interesting point is that both players have the exact same houses, except we have Dis and Shadows. So this is... So we've been talking a lot about AOA, but this is a non-Shadows deck in a final. Has a non-Shadows deck won a Vault Tour in Archon? Someone in chat can help me out with that. I don't know that it has. Yeah, I can't think of one off the top of my head. I, but this is up. still an incredible house. This is an amazing house, but I'm or just, I would be curious. That would, I'm, right shadows. I'm curious oh, if George's that George's would... deck didn't have shadows. Oh, that's true. Gasoline. Gasoline did not have shadows. That's correct. Yeah, and it won twice, so. So, yeah. A couple of times. Maybe I just blacked that out from my mind uh, for like, Sanity purposes. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. For your sanity. For my own sanity. I've blacked, I've blacked gasoline out from my mind. Yes. Yeah, not because we don't like George, but because of... Oh, no, because I had a traumatic George experience where, previous, where I was... Yeah. yeah. Not... That doesn't... Yes. It's to be, to be absolutely clear... For those clear, people who don't know... Yeah, that's right. The last fall tour with Eric and George. I had, a, I had a traumatic... George is a great player, very, very and he's game. a good guy. I just had a traumatic experience where I got gasoline when I was on two keys, six amber, and he was on no keys, three amber. 
But that is what good players do. They take you off games you should win and then make it so you don't win them. Yeah, for sure. I'm looking at power level 8 decks, though, and I think that is the only one. I think Gasoline is the only other deck that... Oh, no, Beast Cell... So one of the, one of the sealed decks didn't have... Um... I, think, I think this might actually... I think Ben's deck might actually have one without shadows. Yeah, it's a coded deck. Uh, yeah, it is a coded deck. Maybe, I could be wrong. Some some deck won a sealed without shadows. But this would be the second Archon deck without shadows. That's one of all. All right, Julian goes first. All right, here we go. So... So starting hands, definitely going to be important, especially for Julian, to get one of those, like the memory chip would be an amazing first first card to play down. Directors would be just as good, not just as good, but would be a great one as well. He wants to get the engine going quickly. Yeah, you don't want to go to archive. Dunk has Bombardment, and Martians Big Bad Allies, Sample Collection, and one other card I couldn't see in Mars. I think it's Squawker, but it's got a pip on it. I don't know exactly what it is. It's, I don't think it's Battlefleet. I think it's Squawker. So I'll go ahead and paste again in our Twitch chat the links to the two decks that are playing right now in the finals. Okay, good. They're fixing the hand cams right now. Thank you, CKM. Go. Yes. Yes, that's going to be extremely helpful. All right, so no memory chip to start, but draws off the top of the memory chip. It's going to be great for future turns. So he's going to bombardment for three, and that was Squawker, like I recalled. He's going to play Squawker to, re to ready his Dominator. Yep, that's fair. Um, discard sample collection. Play Martians, make bad allies. Purge Dodger revealing. Um, that's a real good first turn. Spectral Tunneler. Yep, so we didn't burn a battle fleet there. He played all the things, and now he's going to just draw Logos cards. Wow, okay. Wow. Including EMP Blast. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Well, we are off so that's going to work out really well for him. That's going to work out really well. Dropping the Lash, Dunkerrell's going to most likely go back into his Logos turn. Yeah. Julian. Might go back into Logos, or just go into Logos and drop the memory chip, meaning that EMP Blast will destroy both Lash and memory chip. Yeah. That's going to be really good. Going down to change, only drawn to five. And man, these players are playing fast. Yeah. At least Tung Kuro. That, well, Dunk, whipping through so those Dunk, cards. Dunk, you pretty much have to tie a weight around his waist in order to get him to play at normal speed when he's playing fraud. That's been my experience. If if you're playing him online when he's playing fraud, just forget about it. Like the turns take an average of 15 seconds. So. Okay, right, so look at this, Julian going back. Got binding irons disc. again. That's real big. Double binding irons. Double binding irons is real big. Sending out to five chains. So what does Dunkerdo do here? So he's got EMP Blast and then what? Grabber Jammer, Poison Wave, Nerve Blast, and... Uh, yeah, I think he kills Streak. I think that's right. Plus he's also going to get value off of um, off of a, a, a Smoko. Smoko trigger. Yeah, archiving. Fortunate for him he doesn't drop the EMP Blast yet. It's going to be very useful yeah, in a few turns. Yeah, almost fortuitous there. Nerve Blast, putting two more damage on Dominator Bobble. Stealing one. And going to check. Yep. That's real good. So now, now Julian has a chance to go, he could go dis 
use Lash and just play one card, which is almost certainly wrong. He's probably got to give up a key here. What does he have in Logos? He, yeah, he needs to set the engine up. He needs to go it's into memory Logos. Chip and poke. Yeah, he needs to go to Logos to set the and engine one up. One additional card. Memory chip, pip pip, and poke. Okay, and here's the, is this that Mars turn that we were waiting for? I think so. Now that you've seen Memory Chip, I would definitely... Yep, there it is. Yeah, there you go. EMP Blast. EMP Blast doing work. That's exactly what Dunkerl wanted to see. Grabber Jammer, Squawker the Grabber Jammer to Reap with the Grabber Jammer since Pip Pip is and under taunt. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, don't... Yeah, there you go. Because of Pip Pip. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but you're you're fine with that trade-off. So now he's got yeah. Graft, Wormhole, Lab Work. Okay. So the wow. speed... So we're seeing, like, incredible speed, this even is... with six chains being applied through the Binding Irons. Yeah, this is this is where the King speed Crone of Fraud comes... going com crazy. This is where the speed of Fraud comes in hand. Very, very well. He's going to play Mars Needs Amber to capture one on the Brain Eater. Yeah, Dunker, that was a pretty obvious Logos turn. Four Logos cards. Do you play the Wild Wormhole here? Yeah. Because I'm I'm yeah, I'm significantly I'm significantly ahead. If you hit Battlefleet, you hit Battlefleet. But remember, he hasn't drawn reverse time yet. Ooh, library oh, ashes. library ashes. That's access. fun. Okay. That's, that's actually good. Yeah. That's pretty good. I mean he's only got that's... oh he has three more logo. Oh yeah, that's real good. Because remember, he hasn't drawn reverse time yet, so you just you cycle through, you play graft, you get the amber, you draw a card. He's gonna have reverse time at some point in time. And you play lab work here. And you okay, archive Battlefleet. Battle Fleet. Yep. Amber. Don't forget the amber though. I'm not considering the routine job, but ends up going with the battle fleet. Yeah, that's a yeah, you could sure. consider the, the routine job there. And you're Doesn't done, but that's Logos card. Reap, but, reap to go to, to go check. check. Yeah, you're you're so far check ahead for now. Second key, one yeah. amber, zero keys for Julian. No artifacts. Does he even have an archive? Julian. Yeah, Julian. I believe that's a negative. I don't think he got um, a memory chip hit. Yeah, don't see. Think he's got anything. And now that. he's going into dis. Is does he have always oh, Schuler? Okay, so he takes him off check. That's good. Pain reaction, so doesn't kill any creature, but does put two damage on Quixo. And now Dunk just goes into Shadows, I think. Dunk's objective now is just play the most cards possible as fast as possible. Wait, did he reap with Brain Eater? Yes. But he didn't stun it from Pip Pip. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. So they forgot to stun Brain Eater. And they're just... Yeah, they're just going so fast, leaving that whole turn behind. Double routine job, Miasma. So I'm telling I'm telling uh, Carl that Brain Eater should be stunned. I, hopefully that word will get down there and they'll stun him. It's not going to matter in all likelihood, but but that should that is the correct board state. It should be stunned. Yeah. Carl's telling him right now. This is, now. this is, the, again, the awesomeness of having a direct line to the judge at the table. Yep, they got it. Okay. Good catch, by the way, on that. So what does Julian have in hand? As a director, has Pip Pip, uh, Helper Bots, Key Abduction, it looks like. He has Eureka and, and Eureka. Helper Bot. So the problem is guy. if he calls Logos again, I don't know that, well, he doesn't have an ability to take him off check right now anyway, right? So he just kind of has to call Logos and hope to get there. He's being asked to count cards in deck, or maybe he's just doing that of his own accord. They're, he's doing math on key abduction. The math on key abduction is very close now. I think Dunk has two cards in archive. Yeah, this is this is just a really quick start for Dunk. So opting not to play the Eureka. 
That is a very interesting choice. Holding it. Yeah, that is interesting because he could have potentially archived the key abduction. I don't know what he stands to gain by just keeping it in hand. I guess you can go back, go back into Logos next turn, and it's actually not a bad, bad deal to do that. Dunk Tyler forges librarian allows him to archive the key abduction. Yeah, Dunk forges key two. He's at four amber. He's counting cards in hand. He's got six cards in hand. I believe two in archive. That's eight plus four is 12. He would get 13 from abducting the grabber jammer in hand, but that's not enough to hit the key abduction. So he probably wants to just go into, yep, shadows, play bait and switch, play pawn sack, sack, uh, brain eater. Brain eater is an interesting sack because you're handing him an amber, but again, you're ahead. It doesn't matter. Then kill pip pip maybe, and... The Dominator and Pip Pip, one of the Pip Pips, I guess. I don't. What's the What's above Gub there at the top of the screen? I cannot see. Greg King. Uh, Greg okay, King. so that, that doesn't do anything to Greg King. Greg King. So yeah, he killed the Pip Pip. I think he's finally done with chains now, and draws to five to get rid of when he gets rid of his last chain. So his key abduction math is now five. Um, Five amber. Oh, he does. He does grecking a, a grabber jammer. So he goes. He's at five amber. He has six cards in hand. That's eleven. He has twelve in archive. That's thirteen. He needs to generate two more amber before key abduction works, or he could just go Mars, play key abduction for the amber, and go to check. And Julian jumps up the check for his first key. Dunkerl basically on his third. Yeah. He and now he has two Eurekas in hand, which is unfortunate. Two Eurekas in hand. I think Dunk just generates Amber here. It just continually requires him to, to take him off check. Oh, he's got a battle. I forgot he had Battle Fleet in hand. Yeah, this should do it. He's going to draw three cards. I think the math is guaranteed now. One, two. There's the other Battle Fleet. It's 100% locked. Dunk has one game one now. It's just a matter of playing the cards. He's going to play Battle Fleet. He's going to draw three cards. He's going to reshuffle for posterity, but he's going to draw three cards. So two more cards. So we've got three here, two more off deck, and I believe he had, he's got, I think six, but let's say four. So how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's drawing two more cards. Yeah, it's, it's way, like it's, he's, significantly over the math he needs. He just plays key abduction and wins now. And that's game one right there. Yep. Wow. That is fast. That that's was about, incredibly fast. In fairness to Julian, that was that was essentially peak fraud. Um, in this matchup, that was peak fraud performance. Yeah, and it wasn't a very great start. It wasn't very fortunate to have the memory chip destroyed right off the bat. Definitely hurt Julian a little bit. All right, All 20 right. minutes. So, well, so definitely going to hit under that hour you were talking about. Without question, I said that's even if they if that's if they took a ten minute break now and a ten minute break after this <laughs> yeah, game. Yeah, both times. All right, so Grant, put yourself yep. in the put yourself in the mind of Julian. You've just lost a rather dominate in rather dominating fashion. Dunk has drawn really, rolled really high with that draw. You did not roll really well. You now have to win two games against Pink Fraud. What are you thinking? What mindset are you putting yourself in as we approach game two here? Like, I'd probably feel terrified at the beginning, but you have to stay in the positive mindset. You got to remember that Dunk Hero had pretty amazing draw. You have to remember that, you know, if that if Julian can get into an early Eureka, early memory chip. He totally has a chance. But it's pretty discouraging, especially knowing that Pink Fraud, you know, one of previous Vault Tours, performed very well in other events. And it's it's one of these this is, it's not a great matchup. It's one of, it's not a great matchup, and it's one of these things where if you've not really played Pink Fraud or haven't looked at Pink Fraud, if you didn't watch the tape for when he won the previous Vault Tour, and he was remember, he's on the other side of the bracket, so we probably didn't spend a lot of time thinking about Pink Fraud. 
because this was yeah. the finals matchup. And if you're in that position and you get to finals and that happens to you, you're just kind of like, oh, oh, so this is what Pink Fraud does. This is why it won, right? And it's, I, yeah, I agree. It's a pretty, it's a discouraging situation to be in, but you just kind of got to trust. This is a pretty good hand. Pretty good yeah, hand here for Julian. You got you to trust in the deck that brought you. What's he got? Memory chip. He's got three discs, three Mars, and memory chip. Oh. So, really good first turn, just dropping down the memory chip. Yeah. I think, the, yeah, I think that that's, and then you get Lash turn two. That's pretty good. Yeah, so as long as Suncrow doesn't get an early EMP blast, this is looking pretty good for Julian. Or it's much better than the previous game. Yeah. Just got to hope for no EMP blast. Right. Let's see what Dunkirk draws. Key abduction, squawker, e bombardment. sample collection, bombardment. Okay, so not EMP blast. Dunk opts just to play Quixo and draw two cards. Now that's an interesting play. I don't know that I would do that. I mean, yeah, you wouldn't you just sack the four cards even though you're losing the key abduction? Well, the problem is now you have four cards, and I mean, you, your alternative is you're now going to play a two card Shadow's House, which is your best case scenario after doing that. And once you do that, then you're hoping that you, yeah, you just can't do it. So like, you, you do get to bounce his two right. creatures. Right. So you get you get some value now. Abduction. Yeah. Bombardment to kill uh, the, the thing with armor, probably. Wait, did he play Bombardment not reveal any cards? He just wanted to bounce them to muddy the hand? Yeah, that's probably fine. And then if you if you draw, he's looking to draw into reverse time here. Okay, so this is a much better start for Julian and a much worse start for Dunk. Yeah, Dunkara with a muddied hand. Cards of each house. Ops to go back into shadows. Nerf blast to steal one. Then he has an urchin. Not really going to hit for anything. Then just drop down the miasma. Doesn't get to check either. Because Julian no. had no amber for him to steal off the urchin. But in, in times like this, I've talked to Dunk a lot about playing Pink Fraud. And one of Dunk's main main points about playing fraud is that when he's in a, a position that you know is it is not necessarily very favorable to him it's not like this is terrible for him but he just wants to he just wants to play cards like average card value in fraud is very very high so he just wants to cycle through cards and play as many cards as he can most of the time unless there's a specific reason to hold him it looks like he's not going to get a lot of battle fleet value in this game so he might just want to go into mars and play those creatures he could also he has what? Uh, Logos, just a library access, can't do that. Um, yeah, he's just going to play the Mars creatures. Nothing wrong with that here. Uh, play or discard Mars to make bad allies. No reason to reveal your hand when you're not purging anything. Yeah. And there's the EMP blast. Okay, Julian Ops back to go into Dis. Killing so off yeah. a Mega Meth with Three. Schuler. He's going to do Pain Reaction on Urchin and does deal damage. Pandemonium, I believe. So that is a, that's a pretty good play. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. And then there too, Dunkero, two cards of each house. Pretty unfortunate too, having the library access. With that. I think I think you go Mars here. I think you go Mars. You stun all the Mars creatures. And what's the other card? Squawker. What is it? Oh, EMP blast. And then and the EMP blast. And what's the card other than EMP yeah, EMP blast? EMP blast and one other. Didn't see it. It's got to be Squawker. He has to go for the the library access. Drawing a card doesn't get logos. It's going to be pretty rough. Library access turn. But okay. he's just, just going for it. Well, that's it. It is over <laughs> with the library access turn. <laughs> wow. So there's an argument to discarding LA there because you have reverse time in deck because he doesn't have any keys. You're going to get LA back. That's a close one. Um, I think I might have discarded LA there, but 
but it's it's real close because you know you have a lot of logos cards still in deck, so you're drawing into them. Yeah. Oh, Sky Booster Squadron saved by the armor there. So just clearing the board, knowing that the orbital bombardment has already been dropped. So it's not a lot of threats to the board. Right. So this is a fine play in a vacuum. In it's not like Julian can do anything about what Dunk's hand is currently, but he knows Dunk hand is Dunk's hand is likely to be Shadow Steel, right? Because there hasn't yeah. been much Shadows played, which is exactly what it is. So at this juncture, Dunk just calls Shadows and takes most, if not all, of the Amber on the board. Yeah, Steel's Poison Wave, Relentless Whisper, and that's actually going to be pretty good, killing a lot of uh, Julian's creatures, especially the Titan Librarian. Yeah, that's a critical card. That's the big one that you wanted to, to kill. Killing the creature after having stripped the armor through the poison wave. Wow, so cleared the entire board off. Right, that actually plays worked out both really well. routine jobs, so it takes three amber. Again, Julian not having a mass amber capture or steal. Um makes makes just putting your foot to the ground there is a problem. Yeah, Aurora that's Aurora's mentioning in chat. Generating amber is just enabling steel. And I and I, I agree. I don't know I mean he did Julian did kill all the creatures on the board, so he could just sit yeah. there and not do anything in terms of reaping. He could have called a different house, maybe, I'm not sure. Like calling Eureka Calling Logos and playing Eureka would probably be better, but then he's also generating three Amber. He's just in a bad spot where Dunk is pretty much known to have a bunch of Shadows cards in hand at that point, and he has to do something. Oh, and he's going to play the Wormhole again. Here we go. Oh, and he's punished. <laughs> he is punished. He is punished for playing the Wormhole. Oh, that hurts. Oh, he is punished. Um, Does he actually... He doesn't, he doesn't get a key because he played Eureka. So, oh, man. I mean, he goes to check, but that is a really feel-bad moment. Yeah. I don't know if that was a risk you want to take there. No, I don't I don't think so. I mean, like, we talked about that in his previous matchup, but... Yeah, like, in the previous game that we watched him on stream, just dropping that wild wormhole. But now Dunk, this time, now Dunk is just... Bad. Yeah. Yeah, Dunk just... Now Dunk is just sticking the foot amber. all the way to the ground. Yeah. Yeah, Julian doesn't have much, you know, amber control in hand. Just going to lay out some disc creatures, Gub and a Grecking. That's not going to do anything. Here we go. So is he going to go into the battle fleet? He's doing math. I think he Time knows he's not out. likely to draw into any other Mars cards. He might reverse time first. I think that's probably correct. Yeah, he's going to go Logos reverse time and give himself a chance to draw Mars cards with the Battle Fleet next turn. I agree with this play. There was another Battle Fleet in deck, which is unfortunate, but I think there's almost no other Mars cards. Okay. Let's see so what he draws. Drawing three cards, and he gets one Mars card, which is Bombardment. That's a pretty good card to draw. Yeah, that's pretty good. The best part of Bombardment at this point is actually that it has an Amber Pip on it. Meanwhile, Julian Forges does get to his first key. Now he's in a position where he probably wants to go back to Logos to try to, uh, yep, play Eureka. Yep, goes Eureka. So he's going to start building that archive, but... Right as Dunkero goes to hit for his third key. He's going to, yeah, he's going to need to find some Amber Control. Yeah. And he's going to need it next turn, it or he or he's going to lose. Let's see what he draws. Five cards. 
Nothing so far. Poltergeist. Okay, no, so if Dunk goes to no, check, nothing. the game is over. And he... What does he have in hand? So he's going to go to five. He's got lab, uh, work. lab work. That's it, right? That he is, doesn't have... I didn't see literal any Amber Control in hand. Unless he has... Julian has stuff in his archive. That's true. We don't, we don't know what he has in archive. That's true. We know he true. has a big archive. So he goes to check at six. Now Julian pulls archive or looks at archive. He's got key abduction, binding irons... Is it possible he has no Amber Control in all That's, of Archive? Is no, that possible? Doesn't. He has the Lash, but... No, that's it. That's it? 24 minutes. Wow! Best of three. Wow! This is the power of Fraud. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this wasn't a great start for Fraud, it seems. No, this was... You would this, know better, yeah. This was, this was a suboptimal start... For, to the game for fraud. This was bottom 30% for sure in terms of draws off the top. He's thinking about it, but I think it's done. Yeah. He's going to pull archive. Does he have... He could play key abduction to get key two. That is something. If he hadn't wormholed, if he hadn't wormholed, he might have drawn his second key abduction and he would, he would probably have enough cards in hand to key abduct twice. It's real close. Like, if he hadn't played Wormhole, he might be able to win the game right now. Okay, how many cards does he have in hand? He has a lot. He's counting right now. He's got more, yeah. If he hadn't played Wormhole and he drew the key abduction, he would win. Like, that, this game, this match would be tied instead of him about to lose. So that is a real unfortunate situation. Um, I mean, he plays key abduction to get one key. Four, five, six, seven. 14, 15. Yeah, yeah, he would have got free keys. If he hadn't played Warpole, he would win he would win the game right now. He would have won the game. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's 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 unfortunate. Wild wormhole. From wild the boss. wormhole. It giveth and wild wormhole it taketh away. <laughs> that's it. There we go. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, this fraud is not an imposter. Dunk has won two Vault Tour Championships. Congratulations.